better. Hmm. Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. Yes, I'm having a difficult time deciding what kind, what color hair I should be wearing to go to parties. Oh, wait a minute, is that like the parties pointing? Wait a minute, having trouble deciding who's to blame? Ha 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 ha. Yes. Anyway, for now, we're going to bring Old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. Okay, they're showing it right now. And I'm sure it's all over for the Republicans. Well, yeah. I mean, this morning, the, I'm listening on the news things. <laughs> One of the Republicans said, going in to negotiate with the, with the Democratic Party in the House and Senate now would, is, would, would be like the Emperor of Japan declaring unconditional surrender to the Allies and then, after he has surrendered, demanding that he set the terms for the surrender, which was unconditional. They said that they, at the instant they, the instant that Boehner said, and other Republican leaders, who he guy said will no longer be our leaders after the next election, uh, he actually said, you know where they said 60 percent of the people want their their elected representatives gone. Those are mostly Republicans, and they're going to. He said they're going to kick their asses out. But he said Boehner sold us out. McCain said it sold us out. Graham sold us out. They listed the people that sold us out. And by the instant they said that it's too important not to get done, it meant that we had to bow down to whatever demands that they make, and they're making them. And Democrats to America, we own the government. Well, this morning, okay, and yesterday I put up a thing about the Democrats and one party rule. Today, they said it's time that we, we forget those pieces of the Constitution that said that you should elect a, a, a direct election of representatives and senators from each state and have the elected officials from each state decide who shall represent the state in the United States government. I'm what? talking elected officials, meaning like uh, the, the party leaders in every area would get together at a convention in the state and decide which people are going to represent them in the House. Said that would make this country much better. It called a parliamentary. They said also that they would decide in the in their meeting who would be the next president. There would be no more presidential election either. And IKEA launches a solar panels test. Well, you know, okay, here the problem is. Solar, okay, it is virtually impossible to solar panel a building that will be able to heat the building or cool the building because you can't put enough water in a tank or something to be able to, to maintain the temperature. So what they're doing with putting panels on IKEAs is it's, it's, it's for window dressing. You can't do it on a day like today. And we've been in June gloom for two years now, maybe. Mm -hmm. And extreme climate will hurt tropics first and not the Arctic. Um, but just gets, okay, here's a good thing. If it gets warmer in the tropics, no one notices. You don't notice it raining more or it being hotter if it's already, if you're getting a thousand inches of rain a year and the temperature is in the 80s and the humidity is always 100%, you really don't notice don't if the notice temperature it. is 100, if the rain, if the humidity is 100% and the temperature is 81 degrees, it doesn't make any difference. Although if it changes to 50, you do notice it. I know, but it's not going to get cooler, it's going to get warmer in the ah. tropics. And end to Egypt arms freeze, it depends on leaders, Carrie. Um, uh, no, it, it basically it depends on what's going to not happen. I mean, oh, uh, by now, I mean, everyone knows that Obama is demanding the Egyptian Brotherhood be put back in charge. That is not, they had an uprising. The people of the country rose up against the uh, uh, Muslim Brotherhood, threw them all out. Basically, they made the, um, I, oh, what Herbie Daddy said, the President of the United States is he actually, I don't think he can read a book or read anything because if he could read, he would know it was against the law in Egypt for the Muslim Brotherhood to even appear in public. They couldn't vote, they had no rights, couldn't run for office, and yet they took over the government with law forbidding them from even existing. Mm. And he wants those people that are in violation of the statutes to begin with to be put in power. It's not going to happen. They're throwing them out of office all over, all over the, all over the Middle East, folks. And new reports that Syrian rebels committed war crimes. Yeah, the same people that John McCain and Graham love, and that the and the Republican leadership loves, and the, and all these people. They're they're uh, they what happens is is they're the same. They're uh, here's the idea is that crimes against humanity are what we consider to be crimes against humanity is just them getting even in a Muslim country. I mean, they'll behead you. Okay, they're, they're, these are the people that will cut a hand off you if you steal something. If you're gay, they'll hang you up. 
uh, you know, that it lets you hang by your testicles uh, if you're gay. You know, that's how they get, that's how they, uh, the eunuchs used to come about. Mm -hmm. They were gay individuals and they fixed them for being that, so. And Chicago trains collide and dozens injured. Yeah, uh, that one at the moment is something, uh, hundreds were in, the total is in the hundreds now. I mean, they had one in England that was just as severe and they're not even going to be able to count the dead until they can get the the, the cars out unpiled off of one another because they, the the living got out the dead are just they are there. They're, they're they're there until they can unpile the wreckage. Oh my gosh! Yeah, it's it's like Israeli planes practice long range missions because they're going to have to go to some. Okay, here's where it works: is the Israelis are not going to let the United States know where they're coming from or when they come. They're just going to hit Iran and then all hell is going to break out. But don't worry, as soon as the President of the United States knows where they are coming from, and he will know, somebody, you know, because we've got planes and spy satellites, he's going to tip off the Iranians, and it's going to be a turkey shoot by the, I'm, I'm guessing that we'll probably supply the Iranians with all of the anti-aircraft equipment and missiles they need to shoot every Israeli plane down, because our President hates Jews. I have a family member that's a Jew, and he has done. He has made her life miserable, folks. And U.S. Postal Service defaults on 5.6 billion dollars for future health benefits. They don't have any money. The health. Okay, the, it sent, here's the way it works. Since Obama became president, the health care system has completely fell apart because of this man. the The unions have basically busted the things. He simply refuses to allow. The, you know, okay, the unions don't get the Cadillac benefits under his plan, but if you're a federal worker, you get the Cadillac benefits under his plan because the government will pick them up for you. And Scotland minister sacked a year before the independence vote. The British government does not want Scotland to break away because, oh, oh, what is in the north of Scotland? It's called, it is the North Sea. What's in the North Sea, said every daddy? It's called the British oil fields. Who owns the oil fields? Mm -hmm. Not Great Britain, Scotland does. Oh, interesting. That's right. The wealth of Great Britain is in the oil industry and it does not belong to Great Britain if Scotland breaks off. All of a sudden, Scotland becomes oh. a very big and powerful country. Interesting. And you asked, it missed a red flag on Snowden. Um, yeah, it's the same red flag that they missed on the... Uh, on the guy that basically shot up the military base, and and on the uh, and on the uh, that one billion dollars they've now spent on the Obama website that was supposed to cost sixty five million, so okay. they uh, basically they really don't pay any attention to red flags. Oh, and NSA didn't even notice even NSA had been monitoring it. They couldn't figure out he wasn't doing anything bad. So, and U.S. Supreme Court to choose among two thousand petitions. Yep. Actually, if it's something that they've already been already ruled on, and the Obama administration doesn't like it, they've just brought it up in another form, thinking that okay, that here's Einstein, which Albert Einstein is the one that wrote the definitive definition on insanity, is doing the same thing over again and expecting a different result. Obama is bringing the campaign financing, abortion, and all these things back before the Supreme Court and figuring that they're going to give him a different response than they did the last time and the makeup is exactly the same. If there are things that that uh, Roberts is not going to bend on mm -hmm. and, and he's not going to change no matter what the president may have over him. And Iran insists on absolute right to enrich uranium. This morning they notified the, uh, the world that we'll talk about it but we're going to continue to uh, to enrich our uranium, but it's for inter, it's for you uh, inter, it's for uh, purposes not for making a bomb. The only reason you enrich uranium is to make a bomb. And first of all, anybody with half a brain knows they don't need as much uranium as they think as the government says they need to make a bomb. It's a real. If you have, okay, if you have a sliver, you can make a bomb. It well, may really only blow up a few buildings, but you can make any bomb. Yeah, I love it. O only a few buildings. And yeah. a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, uh, when you listen to or read the news today, you should actually listen to all that is being said, or read all that is being said, not just the headlines. I know what we are, we're headlines. Right?